Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Bubba with Third Eye Blind Triclops video. Now, I'm recording in a weird, uh, weird, pretty decent uh, video quality, it looks like. <clears throat> Might come out completely different. I don't know. But uh, I'm here cleaning the uh, the uh, Heritage Rough Rider Dead Man's Hand that I got. Uh, as you know in the video, it had a little bit of hiccup. But I never did do an actual update on the gun. It's uh, It's working again. Yeah, uh, I guess uh, from what I can assume is a piece of brass got stuck uh, against the uh, loading gate and uh, wasn't allowing the cylinder to turn. Uh, I thought it might have been the uh, cylinder lever, but apparently I was wrong because when I took it down and looked at it, the uh, lever was fine. So yeah, just an update on that. The gun's run, running fine. Matter of fact, after I shot the video, I shot another... I want to say another 12 rounds through it and uh, it was working fine uh after the uh the q-tip video because in the q-tip video then i double check this again uh because sometimes whenever you're aggravated is something here's, here's some life advice when you're aggravated is something put it down walk away for a bit you're able to think more rationally whenever you're on some other subject or thinking on something else and then you come back to it so uh, yeah that's, that's normally what I do. If I get aggravated with something, I'll switch to something else. But it's working fine. So that was the one thing, one, one of the things I wanted to update on. The, uh, the other thing I wanted to update on is uh, the, uh, the uh, mid-10 uh, rifle scope I did a video on. Now, I said Rob didn't send me the 10 millimeter base plate. I was wrong. Uh, it's actually... The, the 20 millimeter plate and the 10 millimeter plate are the same plate. Uh, and Rob told me about that. So I wanted to correct that one. Uh, Rob did send me both plates. They just happened to be one plate. And you switch them around. So it, I apologize, Rob. I apologize. Uh, and I, you know, as, as what I like, I like to rectify my mistakes and explain my mistakes. So uh, I didn't want anybody to be left hanging or, 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 or uh, not to address an issue that I may have created, but Rob most in fact and factually uh, sent me both plates. It's just it's just one plate. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, guys. The other thing I wanted to bring up is my EDC, my little Taurus uh, pistol here. Uh, I'm not going to show you that it's unloaded because it is definitely loaded because this is my carry gun, but I wanted to show you the holster that it uses. Now, this is an MFT, Mission First Tactical, I believe is the name of it. Uh, Jesse B. Outdoors could probably correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but uh, I have a little problem with this one. Now, I've had this one for less than a year, and, I mean, it holds great. It holds the pistol great, sits great, it, it's, it's comfortable against uh, even my big belly. I'm able to appendix carry with this. So, as far as the holster's strength, and 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 feel it's great uh i have no problems with it what i do have a problem with is the uh the width uh bolt fell out or broken half i can't i can't remember i want to say a broken half uh but yeah the uh, thing that uh widens it out broke so it can slip completely through uh, now, I still do use this holster. I'm probably going to bubba fight because I'm Bubba and Bubba will Bubba. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the uh, the bolt for it fell out, so that's it was really upsetting when that happened. Uh, I don't even remember what I was doing when it happened. I think I was visiting my mother or something, and it just happened to, like, fall down my pant leg, and I couldn't find the uh, backing for it. So I'm assuming the backing just disintegrated. Or might have been, I had chili that day, so I might have farted and it disintegrated. Who knows? I mean, you never know with these things. But uh, it's it's all possible. Uh, one thing I've learned whenever I eat chili is not rule anything out that could be damaged. Uh, especially toilets. Went through uh, many of porcelain. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, just like today. Uh, fair warning: if your mother if your mother has a a spice a lot of love for spices and love for heat in her chilies and, and she sends you the rest of it home odds are it was too spicy for her and my mother did that exact same thing so i'm kind of hurting right now 
Uh, that's another reason why I'm outside cleaning my guns instead of inside cleaning my guns because uh, I can't sit in my room because it's just every five minutes there's a fart. SBD or a loud one doesn't matter, and I just can't sit in that room anymore. All right. So uh, I wanted somewhere out here where it's kind of windy, where if I'm sitting out here, I'm not going to have to smell it the whole time. Uh, I think my mother's trying to kill me with chili. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, the other thing I thought about was uh, Boomstick and, uh, and Rob was making a joke about these, these stupid things that should not exist being good targets and I wanted to see how good a target would be for the uh, 556 uh, round so uh, kind of want to try that out. I think that's something else we're going to try once I get some ammo for that uh, for the Bubba Bastard so uh, that's another thing I wanted to throw out there but yeah I, like I said I like this holster I mean it still sits good and stuff uh, I'm just going to have to find some way of fixing that it's just probably it's probably going to end up looking like a giant bolt sticking out of here, more, more than likely. But uh, yeah, uh, I will say one other thing about this holster, and it's one small other thing that I don't like about it, and that's the fact that it. I know I'm a big guy, I know I'm a larger male, uh, but the cover for the. Uh, mag release uh doesn't cover it enough in my opinion and it also doesn't cover the uh safety uh i think they should have had uh one side have a uh little extra bulk that you could screw and unscrew for either side uh so that uh you didn't sweat all over it and get it rusty because that's the only part of the gun that gets rusty is here here and here uh the rest of this gun does not get rusty so i don't you know that's the only thing i could think of so uh that's the only other complaint i have for it other than that i absolutely love this holster uh like i said it sits comfortably and stuff so a lot of old uh adhd kicking in here and me saying random things and, and changing up everything that i'm saying so i, I apologize for that at the time uh but yeah guys uh, I wanted to bring this to your attention. So if you do end up getting an MFT holster, and this is one for, uh, it fits MMP, uh, shields. It fits, I want to say some of the Glocks it fits, uh, but it does, uh, it doesn't complement a rail. Uh, I mean, it still has a curve in here for the rail, but, uh, it doesn't complement a rail setup. So, uh, be aware of that. That's another thing you're going to have to uh, worry about. Uh, so if you wanted one, try to find one with a uh, rail adapter on it. Uh, but, I mean, other than that, this thing sits comfortably, and it's, and it's really well made. Other than that one bolt, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, who knows, right? But I wanted to bring that to you guys' attention while I was out here doing uh, some cleaning on the dead man's hand. And I also figured it'd be a good opportunity to get some updates and to uh, clarify uh, mistakes that I had made. Because uh, I like to clarify my mistakes. Uh, I believe that's all I've got for you guys. Uh, so, as always, stay safe. Stay 2A strong. Stay armed. Have a fantastic day. And as always, guys, as always, always, keep getting at it. We've got nothing else for you.